Ladies and gentlemen, the Mustang that you're staring at is the Galping Rocket. This is one out of the two prototypes that exist right now in the world. What is it? Let me tell you because it's fucking bananas. Let's go. So I'm sitting inside of the rocket and I want to explain to you guys what exactly this is because I'm sure you're looking at this and saying what on earth is this Mustang? Is it a body kit? Is it an exclusive design? Who did this? So years and years ago, Henrik Fisker, I know who, I know you guys are familiar with Henrik Fisker. He's a very, very epic car designer. He designed an Aston Martin, the DV9 and other Aston Martins, also the Vantage. And he also did the super famous BMW Z8. So Fisker's got like a pedigree in design like nobody else. And Henrik is good friends with Bo. Bo is the CEO of Galpin. Bo and the rest of the family that, that runs that Ford dealership, which is the number one Ford dealership in the world and has been for the last 29 years, have always taken on projects completely outside of the box. There's many things that they've, and collaborations that they've done and worked on with designers, with uh, uh, celebrities. I mean, you guys think about it, I promise you they've done it before. So Henrik knowing this and knowing Bo personally, was driving by Ford, said, you know what, I wanna stop by and let me say hi to Bo. So he came in, he got together with Bo and showed him the sketches of a Ford Mustang that he wanted to do because he said that at the time he had been dying to work on an American muscle car. And what better platform than the Mustang and what a better company than Galpin because of, like we said, everything that Bo and the family has done for, for the car world, basically. I don't even wanna start getting into it, but like Shelby and other stuff has started right there with the galping guys. So, Bo saw the design and said, you know what, I love it, let's go and make this. They based it off a 2015 Mustang and uh, uh, completely changed exteriors, completely changed the interior. Obviously, there's been performance improvements and we'll talk about those. Uh, but let me tell you the story about this car and why there's only two in the world right now and both of them are prototypes. So, three years ago, there's a Father's Day parade that happens in Rodeo Drive where pretty much every car maker and uh, everyone that wants to show off a car, it's like a mini car show, if you will like a mini Goodwood, a mini uh, Monterey Car Week. So on Father's Day, they bring all of the cars out, which is a great excuse for all dads to be able to get out and do some car stuff. So there are no excuses that day for us. And uh, at that day, I was just walking up and down Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills thinking, oh my God, what a beautiful day, I'm so cool. And all of a sudden I saw this car, the car that I'm sitting in right now. And my jaw just dropped. I couldn't believe what I was staring at. I came in and I approached the guy and I said, I'm sorry, what is this? And they explained to me, it's the Galping Rocket. It's a Mustang designed by Fisker. It's gonna be out for sale in a year. We're taking orders right now. I immediately gave him a deposit. Unfortunately, they haven't delivered a single customer car until right now. And right now they're getting really, really close to delivering the first three or four cars. And the reason for the delay is now I completely get it. And it's really, really hard to just put it together a car and I know that that's common sense but I'm saying all of the hoops that you have to jump through in order to be able to make a sticker that says this is a galping rocket Mustang and put it on the sticker and put all the options on the sticker I, I, I don't even want to get into it right now but thank God Galpin already went through it with this car and that's gonna help me tremendously with my Raptor so hopefully we're not gonna have those delays or at least they're gonna be able to help me see whatever's coming ahead so that we can make better decisions about that but that's enough of that this is the Galpin rocket and let me show you guys what's so different about this car right now let's go and like I said, the Mustang that you're looking at right here, it doesn't have anything stuck aside from two items. Number one, the door. That is the only thing that is directly from the regular Mustang and also the roof. Nothing else is from a stuck Mustang. Everything has been revised. All of the exterior body, the wheels, all of the way to the interior and also performance up upgrade. So this is not a stock Mustang, this is something really special. Now let me show you all of the differences. So let's start with one of the easy differences to catch, right? The grill right here. This massive grill that they put on the car makes the car look so mean and badass. This angle right here is what made me fall in love with the car to begin with. Also, aside from the beautiful grill that they added, you see the carbon fiber splitter right in the front, the car is way wider than a normal Mustang. It also has a different hood, as you guys can see, also two vents right there and a carbon fiber line that follows through the entire line right here. Now, this hood that you're looking at is not gonna be the one that's gonna make it to the final production of the car or to those cars that they're about to deliver. The one that they're actually using is 60% lighter than this one, which is incredible. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering why the 725? So the car that we're staring at right now, I mean, obviously the Galpin Rocket, but the base of the car is made up by a 2015 
Austin Mustang with a 5-point liter V8 engine that produces 435 horsepower. Now, the number 725 is the horsepower that the car has right now. And how do they achieve that? Well, what they did to get to that number is they added a Whipple supercharger, and Whipple is the company that makes that supercharger, in case you guys don't know. Uh, with a 2.9 liter supercharger, they got to the 725 horsepower, which is almost 300 horsepower more. That's insane. Another thing I love about this car is how wide they made it. So a Mustang would end right about here, and all of this right here is extra. So that gives the car such a muscular look, and I love that. So as you can tell, a wider body, these are added on too, along with the grill and everything that I just showed you guys, the front splitter is carbon fiber, and the wheels. The wheels are completely exclusive for this car. I believe the wheels are gonna change for the production models. So the wheels, the side skirt and carbon fiber. That's another nice, beautiful addition. Like I said, the door is one of the two things that is stock from the actual Mustang, but back here, you guys can tell, there's some intakes and also making the body wider. So these are also functional because they take the air in and they cool off the brakes from the back. So it's not only beautiful design lines, but it's also adding functionality to them, which is, I mean, that's a... I get so tired of just talking. Which if you can merge the two, if you can add functionality to your design, you're fucking at a whole different level and this is exactly where we at with this. And speaking of beautiful design and functionality, look at this right here. This is obviously not how the trunk of a regular Mustang goes. This is something that they added on so that you don't have to put a big wing here and give it that for some, the tacky look, right? To me, I love wings, but uh, to some people, they don't like it, and this is a very classy solution right here. So that line of design is also a big, big difference between a regular stock Mustang and this one. The rear diffuser, obviously, exclusively made for this car, all in carbon fiber with those beautiful quad exhaust pipes. And up here, all of these in between the lights, and then this is all carbon fiber and beautiful carbon fiber work too. And obviously you're never gonna see that line in another Mustang back there because no other Mustang has this little wing. So the back really sets up itself to be very, very special and unique compared to any other Mustang. So very few changes that make a big difference is what they went with. And that's what really worked about this car. And this is why it's so gorgeous because it's not like a brand new car from start. And also the addition of carbon fiber everywhere. What a great, great thing to do. And on to the second part of this, which is the interior, which is beautiful and delicious. I mean, just look at this thing. And one of the things that I really liked about what they did with the interior was that they covered every single piece of plastic with leather. And I love that. Every single material that they're using in here is premium materials. All the leather is like the most expensive leather that you can possibly find out of uh, Italy too. So they can make sure that the people that are spending 120, $130,000 in a Mustang are really not getting the plastic shitty feel, which is awesome because every single time I wanted to buy the 350R, I always thought to myself, it lacks a little bit. And it's just those little details. So wrapping it in leather, carbon fiber, and beautiful materials was a huge, huge, huge improvement on this one and I love it for that. So a few of the things that they changed was they added a lot of carbon fiber. So look at all that line of carbon fiber going across the dashboard. That looks so freaking beautiful. That's one. Then they went with the leathers. That leather that they added to the car is delicious. I can actually put my bony ass on this seat and actually it's quite enjoyable. Whatever they put inside in the leather, it's a delicious combination that they used. There's also a lot of Alcantara up here, as you guys can tell. Look at that. Oh, delicious. And like I said, leather everywhere. The steering wheel is covered in leather. The top part of this is covered in leather, which in a regular Mustang is not. And even the door, the top part is covered completely in leather. The bottom part is completely covered in leather. And obviously the middle with the red, beautiful standout accent piece. So. Ooh. And this car comes with a manual gearbox, but if if the customer wishes, they'll put an automatic sequential gearbox in it. So you don't have to stress about, oh, I cannot drive a manual so I cannot get one of these fancy Mustangs. You actually can, but uh, with an automatic gearbox too. So just know that, just know that. It's good to have options. And for those one or two people that have never seen a Mustang in action, let me, let me just show you guys how to get it going. So foot on your clutch because it's a manual, obviously. Start, stop button is gonna be right here and I'm just gonna press it. Ah, oh, you can let go of the clutch and instantly, can you guys hear that massive supercharger? <laughs> and I love these gauges right here. Ooh, 
<laughs> so one of my favorite things about these new Mustangs, and especially this is an older one, so obviously the customers that are getting the new Mustangs, they're gonna get the latest and greatest navigation systems and screens, obviously. Uh, this one's really good, and this is one of the things I loved about the Mustang, is how easy and how responsive the touchscreen is, and how fast you can go through the menus without a problem. You can just literally click on anything, and it takes you there instantly, just with a click of whatever. So that's a good thing, glad Tommy's using his phone here, and also big bright. I love that he also uses his Instagram here. <laughs> uh, another favorite feature of mine of the Mustang is how easy it is to get to these modes. So right here you have driving mode. Right here you have your steering wheel mode. And right here you can take traction control off and these are your just your hazards. So on mode, this is the one I'm gonna be clicking and I'm gonna show you exactly all of the modes from the car. So you have normal right there, you guys are seeing that. Then you can put it in Sport Plus. If you take it to track, traction control comes off. I'm sure a lot of accidents in Mu for Mustang people happen there because they're not expecting for the car to take that off. So always, always be make sure that you have it on or off according to whatever your driving preference is and not just by accident. And obviously we also have snow wet, which all of the drive assists are gonna help you the most so that you, so you don't slip around everywhere and that's what she said. <laughs> and my other favorite one is the steering wheel one. Because you can mess with the steering, you can have normal, a normal feel, you can get it in sport, which is my favorite. Yeah, I, I don't like driving uh, Mustangs without putting them in, in sport. And then the other one's comfort, which is nice and easy, but my favorite again would be sport. And all of those are the reasons why I love this Galpin Rocket Mustang. And it makes it so special. The fact that the leather really inside and all of the materials inside are premium. The leather, there's no plastic inside side gorgeous and just outside the cues are just insanely gorgeous drop dead gorgeous that big front grille that makes it look so special like a big shark with the front hood the way it looks the wider stance of the car it just makes it feel like a more special car so what do you guys think would you spend the 120 130,000 dollars buying one of these or which other mustang or version of the mustang would you buy and why please let me know in the comments down below i am actually a big fan of this one and i'm buying a gt500 the new shelby i'm very excited to get into the mustang family basically and just be a part of it. So I'm gonna leave you that guys with that. Please let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. Also don't forget to like, subscribe uh, if you're brand new to the channel. Guys, we'll see you later. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.